Well, hey guys, today it is Saturday, so last last night, yesterday evening, I was disking, that's the last video, so today I'm in the 8320, so the big John Deere tractor, and I am now coming behind, we, we call this the Triple K, I have, I don't really know why we call it that, honestly, but anyways, what this is doing is it's just... Uh, incorporating in the the fertilizer that we put down so if we look over here you can see that these tracks we have the sprayer tracks because we put out a liquid fertilizer and then you can see these big tire tracks there that's from a big spreader and they put down some dry fertilizer so anyways after we chisel plow and disc and make everything real smooth um, we come there they come through and fertilize and then we just go over that again and get all this fertilizer tilled in so anyways it's kind of dusty but this is only doing like the top I don't even know if an inch or so not very deep at all you can see the tractor is pulling it in an idle and if we come over here you can see engine power it's barely using any engine power so it's pretty easy for this thing to pull so anyways just got this little dab left in the field and then we got another one I gotta go do then we've caught up with the sprayer. This, that's all we've got sprayed. So that's all I'm doing today. Anyways. Okay. Just got out. Uh, this is making, making piles. We got a metal thing that got stuck in these rollers. So I'm gonna come put it. Oops, here, but out of the way. So anyways, this is what I'm using. We call it the Triple K. I have no clue where that name comes from. It's just these, we call these S tines, because it looks like an S. It's just kind of springy, and then they got these points on the bottom. And it's not going in very deep. But that'll kind of mix in the fertilizer. And then we got these rollers on the back to uh, smooth it out even more. So anyways, it's 25 feet. Then we got the 8320 on it. This tractor is, like I showed before, it's pulling this thing easily. It's not even working it at all. So anyways, I finished the field I just got the ends now so I'm gonna go do those right now okay just finished this field here the ends took a lot longer than I was expecting them to but got it done in the end just took a little longer at the top because it curves really bad and we want to try to keep that side there right next to the ditch so anyways I'm gonna fold up now this thing folds up really fast compared to the disc it's just because the hydraulics are speed up and sped up. Uh, anyways, it's all folded up now. I am going to first run to the shop real quick and see if I can find my water bottle. I think I left it there. And then I gotta go down over that way. And there's another field down there. I gotta go do. Or part of a field. It's a split field between corn and beans, and I'm only doing the corn part now, so. Anyways, that's the plan. Okay, so my friend actually ended up not having anything to do, so I just actually, I actually just got him set up, uh, triple king. So I'm actually gonna go do some bedding now. So, anyways, he's got that going. So yeah, I'm gonna go get the bed bar going. Okay. Well, now I'm here at the corrugator, although now that we're done with wheat, 
Now this is the bedding barn because we're no longer corrugating. Well, technically we are, but these shovels here, they're a little bit narrower. So it just makes a small corrugate. Now we have some bigger ones on and we're making these. So these are, these are a lot deeper and it's thrown the dirt up in a bigger mound because that's what the corn likes and the beans do too. So we're making a little bit bigger mound. We're back to the 25 foot, still not 30 foot because with seed corn, yeah, just the way that the diff, the, I'll explain it more when we actually get to planting time. And it'll all make sense. So, anyways, 7215R, same tractor, same bar and everything. So, we're gonna get going. Okay, I've done a couple rounds. I just got out now. I'm gonna take this tape measure and measure the width of these, this bed here, because you can see here it had to skip a gap or because this same shovel did that one so there's anyways you can see this one's not quite set centered on that so that means this might be a little bit fatter and it looks like it is see from there it's about there say it about 32 inches there and I gotta go find the other run over there. They call these guest rows. It's where this pass meets up with this pass. All these others, since it's connected to the bar, this is gonna be a certain distance. Whatever you have them spaced at, it's gonna stay that way. But this, since it's just, it's the GPS that has to keep you on track here, um, that can be messed up. And with corn, we're planting right into the beds. It's not like wheat where you just make a corrugate just for water. These are these beds are actually used for something. They're more important, so they gotta be better. So anyways, I'm gonna measure the other side. If it doesn't look good, I might have to put an offset in the GPS and the screen up there in the cab. So, anyways. Okay, well, I've been messing with the offsets and the GPS a little bit to try to get the guest rows a little bit better, a little bit closer to 30 inches. And I just about to get out and measure it again. But I don't know how much longer I'll tinker with it. Eventually, I'll just find a good spot. It might not be perfect, but go with it so anyways I've covered a little bit of ground not much compared to the amount of rows that are left but they're short runs that's the problem so you do a lot of turning around anyways we're still covering ground anyways at least since we're doing 12 acres an hour right there, 12 and a half, so, yeah. Okay, well, still moving along. There's nothing really to show other than just more corrugates. So, anyways, um, at the end here. So, I uh, may turn around real quick and I'll be back. Okay, so, anyways, um, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I don't wanna make it too long with just corrugating. I already have a few videos of corrugating on the channel, so, and there's gonna be a, more of this too, so. Might as well if I'm gonna make them, I'm gonna keep them kind of short because uh, it's not too exciting. Nothing really worth people sitting around and watching a 20 minute video on 
Corgi. So, anyways, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, this was, in my mind, it was supposed to be a video of the Triple K, but, you know, I didn't realize that my friend was gonna come and run that. That's easier for him to learn on because he's new to tractor operating, so that was the best uh, rig for him to run, and that left me with this, so anyways, uh, at least I got a little bit of footage from it, and hopefully I can get a little more at some point, so anyways, thanks for watching, we'll catch you in the next one.